If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Aloha, our keto friends. I am all dressed up because guess what? I have a KetoCon presentation right after this. Yes, KetoCon is at our own homes right now because of the coronavirus, but I want to show you how to make bacon wrapped lovers meatloaf because it is just so darn delicious. Kai, while I do the bacon part, your job is to open up the ground beef and put it in the bowl, okay? So we want two pounds of ground beef and you want a lot, a lot of bacon. And we have our lovely uh, Peterson Farm smoked bacon. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350. I gotta get a knife out of here, my friend, uh, to open up the bacon. So I need more than this. And what you're going to do is you're gonna make a bacon weave, okay? And you want to have a loaf pan available, but you're not making it in a loaf pan, so pay close attention, all right? So, what you're going to do is make a checkerboard with your bacon. You wanna make a nice big checkerboard, all right? And you're gonna go over and under. So if you lay your bacon out in a, um, a bunch of lines like this, so we have, <laughs> let's see probably going to need about 18 slices of bacon. That's a lot of bacon, but this is bacon lover's meatloaf, right Kai? Yeah. You have an okay time? We need to sharpen the scissors, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to make basically a square and then you go over and under and over and under. Okay. So we have our nice square right there. I'm putting it on parchment because I want to lift it out of the, um, what's it called? The bread pan or meatloaf pan. Should we call it a meatloaf pan instead of bread? Yeah. So I'm gonna go over and under. I gotta spread these out a little bit. <laughs> I'm a little pressed for time because KetoCon is waiting for me. And I said, can I have 10 minutes to get this in the oven? Cause we wanna eat when we're done. Yeah. You hungry? Mm -hmm. Over and under and over and under, okay? And over and under. So I have one extra piece here. And then you kind of do the opposite. So lay this, pull these apart uh, like this. Oh, I didn't go over this one. This is, it's totally worth all this trouble. I tell you, totally worth it. Unless your name is Kai, because Kai does not like bacon, right? Yeah. So then put these down. I know you guys want to see this. Um, maybe we can do like a photo, step-by-step -step photo thing. Um, there we go. And you want to have like a, a rimmed baking sheet available with a, a rimmed thing because that's what is going to go, uh, your bacon's going to go on that. So now we'll pull these back down over and under and over and under. And then we pull the other ones away. <laughs> you having an okay time? Yeah. So you want two pounds of ground beef and you want a cup of powdered pork rinds, or you could use, um, you could powder some Parmesan cheese if you want to. You could totally do that. Um, if you wanna make it dairy free, we're using powdered pork rinds because we don't want dairy in our meatloaf right now. All right, we're almost getting there. I'm gonna need your meatloaf in a second. You doing okay, Kai? Yeah, oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. So cold. Super cold. It was in the fridge. And then one more piece of bacon we're gonna do. One, two, three. Okay. And, oh, ooh, careful, don't cut yourself. Maybe I shouldn't be giving you a scissors. All right, so now we have our bacon weave. Oh, we have some meatballs in it, meatloaf. There's our bacon weave, okay? And I'm going to set this into the bread pan because my meatloaf is gonna be formed in that. Now we have extra bacon here. So I have it like this in my pan, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm gonna help Kai out. Woo, free. <laughs> oh my gosh, why didn't you open it with the scissors? I'm Here we go. Stuck. Can you crap um, can you crack uh, an egg in there, Kai? You want one egg. Okay, so we're gonna crack that in there. There's the egg. Yeah. We're gonna put uh, like a half a cup of onion in there and our cup of powdered pork rinds. Yep. And we're gonna do about two teaspoons of our Redmond Real Salt. We love our Redmond free of microplastics. All right. And we're gonna do two teaspoons of mustard. mustard because you should always add an acid 
to your cooking because salt, fat, acid, yeah. and heat. That makes everything delicious. So now I'm going to mix this up. I'm guessing you don't want to mix this with me, do you? Yeah, my hands You could add some pepper too, but I'm like a true German girl that doesn't like a lot of pepper. So I am just going to mix, mix, mix. My hands are already freezing. Already freezing? Mm -hmm. Oh, you poor boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I think it's numb. No, I'm going to do it now because then you don't have to get all dirty, okay? So now that it's all mixed well, I think I needed a little bit more salt, okay? It wasn't quite two teaspoons, I can just tell. All right, and you wanna season your food well. I guess the bacon is gonna season it too. So once you have that all formed, you're gonna set that right on into the bacon. Oh, just a second, my friend. Now, we have a little bit more. Put that in here. Now I'm going to Put it in the oven. Take it out. I'm going to fold the bacon over. Okay, so we want to wrap this entirely with the bacon. Oh, keep that closed, my friend. We want that oven to be hot, hot, hot. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, this meatloaf is wrapped. And then we're going to take it out. See how I took it out of the bread pan? And I'm going to place it onto a baking sheet because. I want the bacon to be able to get nice and crispy like, okay? So there we go. We're going to put yep. it into a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes and we'll catch you back in a little bit. Okay, so it smells like bacon. Yeah. I think it's done. Here we go. Oh boy, very heavy. Here we go. So now we have this bacon wrapped meatloaf. Be yeah. careful, don't touch this, all right? Very, very hot. And I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes before slicing yeah. into it, but it is Very, just absolutely yeah. delicious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You don't have to pretend. Yeah. He doesn't like bacon, but everybody else does. But guess what? I want to tell you one more thing. I forgot to put something in this, didn't I? Yeah. What did I forget? Mushrooms. I forgot to put the mushrooms in, and I thought about redoing the video. However, I still was going to make this, and I still was going to eat it. I was going to take it all apart after it was halfway yeah. baked. And I just want you to know, like, if mistakes happen, it's still going to be delicious. The mushrooms add umami. It adds a little bit of mo moisture to the meatloaf. So yes. it might not be as moist, yeah. but it's still going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. And forgive yourself yeah. if you make mistakes, because I was thinking about the KetoCon presentation. If you haven't seen it, you should check it yeah. out. I think we actually have oxidative priority on our YouTube. Don't we, Craig? I think so. I think so. So check it out, bacon wrap meatloaf, you're gonna wanna try it. Mahalo. Mahalo. Sharing is caring. 